is just going to help people get here. City leaders say there's plenty to see and do at 18th and Vine, but not enough parking. So there's a plan now to change that. The plan is music to the ears of the Jazz District supporters. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. It comes in the form of a multi-level parking garage, a first for that area. Fox 4 Sean McDowell takes us to 18th and Vine, where they're ready to park it. Tourist traffic is usually high around the 18th and Vine District. But the concern is there aren't enough parking spaces for everyone. On Thursday, city council members unanimously approved $20 million to build a multi-level parking garage nearby. It would be the first of its kind in Kansas City, Missouri's 3rd District. No tax increase bond money will be used and the city manager's office will take the project lead. There is parking but you kind of got to hunt for it. Negro Leagues Baseball Museum President Bob Kendrick plans to expand this civil rights treasure trove to a larger location soon. He says current parking provisions at 18th and Vine aren't good enough, and he believes some people don't visit the museum and the surrounding businesses because there aren't enough places to park. This would fulfill a vital need for historic 18th and Vine if and when a parking structure is you know, built and it just ties into this renewed energy that we're seeing. Some of that enthusiasm is seen at jazz shows at the Gem Theater or sporting events at the Urban Youth Baseball Academy. They also eat up parking spaces in the few lots that exist. Third District Councilwoman Melissa Patterson Hasley says there are plans to develop as many as 17 new businesses here soon too. We're going to see things happen that is going to compress the parking. And of course you need people to shop at these businesses. We need people to patronize it. We want people to come from all over the city. Kendrick says the Negro League Museum expects 70,000 visitors this year alone. The next step in the parking garage project is to determine an exact location. Councilwoman Patterson Hasley says she isn't sure of that just yet, but the city will start accepting bids soon. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.